Hi students, I wanted to show you how to do the Excel assignment. So here I am in the Excel assignment. Now, of course, you're going to read all of this, um, but I'm going to show you how to do it as well. So I'm going to go ahead and go down and open the assignment. And here's all the policies you can read like on every assignment about the grading. I'm going to continue in. Now, right here is a video that you can watch that shows you how to download it. There's also some written directions, but I'm going to show you as well. So I'm going to go ahead and first I'm going to download the Excel file. Okay, it's downloaded over here. Now I already have Excel on my computer. So when I click on it, it's going to open and then I'm going to click enable editing here. Okay, and now I can go in and work in the area. So it tells us here that I need to put input in the shaded yellow cells. So for example, for my current ratio, I know that that's current assets divided by current liability. So there's a little line you can see there. So it's a dividing sign. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that cell. I'm gonna push my equal sign and then come over here to my data, click on current assets and then push enter on my keyboard. And then I'm gonna do the same thing for liability. So now I'm in the next cell down. I'm gonna push my equal sign, find my current liabilities, click on that cell so it's, it's um, referring to cell C10, hit enter. And now to do my formula, I'm going to come over to the next year and I'm going to say it, my current ratio equals my top number divided by with the slash the bottom number. And then hit enter. And then I would go through and finish the rest of the area. So for example, for free cash flow, this is asking for each of the three components, your net cash from operating activities, minus your capital expenditures, minus your dividends, equals your free cash flow. Once you're done, you need to save that file. So I'm just gonna go to File, Save As. Let me show you that one more time in case I did it too fast. I went over to File, Save As, and just leave the name the same. Find somewhere to save it where it's gonna be easy. I've done a few here, as you can see. I'm just gonna go save it on my desktop. There we go. Okay, now I can close it out. When I go back to the assignment, there we go. I'm gonna to go to step two, I'm gonna upload my file. So I'm gonna click on select file to upload. Go find that file I just saved. I've done it a few times here. Click open and now it shows me here that it's successfully uploaded, right? So then you can go down and submit your answer. You don't wanna submit if it doesn't successfully upload, okay? If you do have problems uploading, again, make sure you follow the directions. Um, you can let me know and also contact the Wiley support as well. Okay, so I hope that helps you guys as you're submitting your Excel assignment.